today I'm going to teach you how to connect a MIDI controller to Atom Television Studio. This is my setup. As you can see, everything is in the box. So I put everything in the box. Your Atom Television Studio somewhere there. Two recorder there. As you can see, I'm using two recorder. I'm using uh, Automo Samurai. So very nice, easy monitor there. So you can just ready to go every time you have a production. Open and then set up and done. Why I chose this particular brand? Number one is because the price, okay, it's cheap. And then number two is because the design. You have a 12 button there and you have a one feeder. So it's just it's nice. It's very nice to configure that all at the top is a uh, program or the button is a uh, uh, preview. Then uh, the good thing about this MIDI controller is that you can still control the switching even if you are not in the switcher tab. This is inside the Atom software control. Once you are in Atom software control, you actually can use your keyboard to as a shortcut. So one, two, three, four, five is select of the camera. But once you out of that switching tab, you go to the audio or you go to the media, you cannot do that. So it cannot work. But this MIDI controller, you are still able to select, you are still able to switch, even if you are not in the switching tab. So how we do it? Okay. Let's take a look. Let me show you how to set up the MIDI controller. First, you have to make sure your computer is on, your atom on, all the system is connected, the IP address is correct. First thing first, you need to download the apps. The download link is in the description. Once you download, you open the apps. There is a two folder. Then choose the, there is the older version and the newer version. You choose the newer version, or which one is uh, compatible with yours. And then after that, after you open the folder, there's apps you can see, then you open the apps, okay, you open the apps, then you will see like this, okay. First, you need to make sure the IP address is correct. Once you fill in the IP address, this is the Atom IP address. You put there, the Atom IP address, then you press connect. After that, you choose what kind of MIDI controller you are using. In this case, it's Wall D. After that, you press the button on the MIDI controller. That will be a number there. It's a 0 to 127. Once there is a signal there, it means the MIDI controller is on. Then you choose from the drop-down menu what action you want to do with the button. Okay, there is an option there. You want to put whatever you want. Press one button, put there, then click attach. Okay, do the same thing, the next button. Second button on your MIDI controller, you choose there. Okay, what you want to do with that button you choose that then you do all into the 12th after that don't close the apps then open the atom software control then you finish okay the rule is do not open atom software control before the apps you need to open the app first then you open atom software control if you open the atom software control first the apps won't be detect the atom okay good luck